they tell you, you know, you're cleared for takeoff and you wheel this thing out onto the runway. And I mean, and it's, it's like a drag race, except instead of a drag shirt, it's, you know, a behemoth of a plane that weighs north of 150,000 pounds. Push the throttles up, and you just start barreling down this thing. But instead of the drag race, which ends at the quarter mile, you pull back and just pull this whole thing, you know, off the runway. And the next, all you see in the windscreen is sky, and you just become a rocket ship. My grandparents used to always say when, uh, when I was younger, you know, I want you to always act like I'm there. You know, if I was standing in the room, would you do that? But now it's, it's. I mean, I guess it's sunk in, but I always, you know, I kind of picture that. You know, I want to I wanna make myself proud, but I want to make my dad proud too. Watching Alex become a pilot is sort of getting to see my dream come true in somebody else. And what better person to see it come true in than your own son? He kind of has like a subdued proudness you know, he's not the kind of guy who's gonna come out and just burst into tears and like hug you or anything. But he, you know, he kind of like will like slug you in the arm. Proud of you, kid. Stuff like that. You know, you did all right. That's how. That's how he. But when he says something like that, it just it means the world to me. Well, we went to Corpus Christi uh, for his winging. Shortly before we made the trip, Alex asked me to pin his wings on. And I was, it, it really choked me up when he asked me to do that. It really did, and just, I, I was so incredibly honored that he would ask me to do such an important thing. I remember my hands were shaking a little bit, and it was just, I was almost overwhelmed with the emotion of it, but we were so proud of him. When I was growing up, I, I remember playing in the water, you know, sitting on the dock, with my grandpa, my dad, and they'd always point out planes to me, oh, there's you know, the Blue Angels, or an F-18s. I remember uh, it, was, it was right near one of my last flights. It was sunset, we took a southern route, and I knew at some point we were gonna fly over Blackwater Bay, which was where my parents, where grandparents lived. And the route that we took, I, I kind of veered a little, a little further south because I knew where, where I was. I looked down and I, and I saw their house, and it just kind of came full circle for me being that kid looking up and now being that flight student looking down. And I got choked up in the plane. From all that I've been through to finally end up, you know, I've been to another country, I've been doing the two other careers and I'm, I end up, you know, 2,000 feet above where I started. 